Happy Saturday morning. I am, okay, so I am trying this live thing again. And what I wanna talk about this morning is finding fearless ambition. So yesterday I did my very first Facebook Live ever. And the reason I did that was because I was going to need to um, do it in another group. And I was, I'm very uncomfortable with it, still am, just practicing. So I really appreciate you guys and anyone who tunes in or has any comments for me. So my day started out, um, my, my day started out that I got up really early, like 5.30 in the morning. That's not unusual for me. And um, had to wait till seven o'clock in the morning for the coffee shop to open. And then I went off to the office because I wanted to um, print out some things for the And Here's How branding brand that we're getting ready to create um, between Roxanne and I. And um, I don't know, I ended up staying there for 90 minutes and I ended up um, writing something that I'm going to develop further into one of the newsletters. So here we go. I What I did was I wrote six steps to finding fearless ambition. But before I talk to you about the six steps to finding fearless ambition, I want to talk about why um, why it is that people maybe don't don't find ambition. You know, what are the things that stop us from doing what we really want to do? And I made some notes for that. So I think that so often we set goals and we never we don't reach them. We don't even perhaps get started. And um, one of the reasons for that is that deep down inside, we really don't believe that we're capable of um, achieving the goal. You know, we, we wanna take massive progress, but instead we let procrastination take over and we end up doing absolutely nothing. Um, so I hope to create some big aha moments and help you learn how to flip the switch in your head so that you can really, really create those things that you want to create. Um, okay. So the second reason that I think that people don't really achieve their dreams is because they're absolutely afraid of failure. You know, you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of your family, your peer group, you know, just other people in your lives. You, you don't want to embarrass yourself. And maybe there's even been people in your life who told you that you can't do something and then you don't want to give them further fuel to continue to tell, the, tell them, tell you that you can't do things. So another one is um, we have these perceived limitations. So we might say to ourselves, you know, who am I? Who am I to get this done? I um, recently finished writing my book, and it is coming out in August. And um, right now, I'm actually starting to write my second book, and now I've actually planned out my third book and my fourth book. But when I when I first made that decision to write. Prior, before I started, I went through two years of telling myself you that I couldn't do it, um, that I wasn't a writer, that, you know, no one's going to, who's going to listen to you? No one cares, Mary, just, just, you know, focus on your business. Writing is a waste of time. Um, and so, you know what? And w this is a big one. I think a lot of reasons why people don't go for and achieve their dreams is because they simply don't know how. You know, no one's actually taught you the steps to take. So, you know, what are the steps to take to become a writer? What are the steps to take to become an entrepreneur? I'm, I'm big on entrepreneurships, but what are the actual steps that you have to take? You know, what are the take, what are the steps it takes to, um, I don't know, become a kickboxer. I mean, they're all different. And if we don't know what the steps are, if we don't know how to do something, then we will get into that procrastination cycle and we'll actually do nothing. So we might know how to do parts of the process, but not the whole process, but we don't do anything because we don't know how to do every step. And then um, we fail to make the time that we need. You know, it really takes a commitment in order to achieve your dreams. So, um, what I want to talk about is how do we flip that switch in our minds and become absolutely committed so that you can make the most unbelievable things happen. And um, so the six steps to finding fearless ambition. Um, success actually comes from within. So it's the choices that you make every day, each and every day, the actions that you take 
every single day are going to determine your reality. So step one is that you need absolute clarity of desire. You need laser focus on what you are trying to achieve. Step two is all about you. So step two, all about you. It is who do you need to be in order to have, be, or do this thing that you want to succeed at? Um, what are the habits that you need to have? What are the choices that you need to be making? And what actions do you need to take in order to create the absolute success that you're looking for? Six, um, also, step two, you have to control your thoughts, your feelings, your words, and actions. They all have to be in alignment with your dreams. So uh, the, the, the terminology of getting into alignment used to actually uh, confuse me a lot. I didn't understand what that meant. And uh, I thought it was complicated. But the truth is that um, it's really very simple. You just need to think and control your outcomes by getting your feelings, your thoughts, your words, and your actions in alignment. Um, that means that they, those things support your dreams. Step three is all about your business. So what is your, what is your business mission? What is, the, what is your business core values? What is the niche market of your business? And who is it that you serve? So at my business that I own, we serve mostly the healthcare community. So it's very important for me to understand the needs of my healthcare clients. You know, what is it that they need from me so that I can serve them in that way? Also, what is your zone of genius? What is it that you do that is better than anyone else that you know? Because the more time that you spend in your zone of genius, the quicker that you're going to achieve your success goals. Step four is all about creating breakthroughs. So the most powerful moment in your life is the moment when you decide with intensity that everything is going to change right now. Because when you make that decision, what's going to happen is your thoughts are going to begin to change. Your feelings are going to begin to change. Your choices are going to begin to change. And you're going to take new and deliberate action that is going to support you in your goals. Step five is all about your belief system. So beliefs is a big one because um, whatever it is that you actually believe is possible for yourself is about to the level that you will get. So um, one of the things I get really excited about is talking about creating a menu for your life. And whatever it is that you want to have or want to achieve, you need to be sure and put that on the menu because the truth is that you cannot achieve something that you don't believe is possible. And step six is all about taking action. And taking action to me means like so many times we have these great, wonderful ideas and we actually just never take any of the steps involved to get us from where we're at now to where we want to be. So in your free downloads, um, both Dream with the Deadline and Ignite Your Dream, they both end the challenges with creating an action plan. And so um, once you have, once you create a plan and you set some uh, uh, deadlines and you actually take action every day in the direction of your dreams, what you're going to find is that you're going to be able to achieve these things so much faster. So happy, happy Saturday morning. And um, I hope that you have found this very useful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.